Your weekend was awesome. I got to see my mommy. So I am very happy. A couple of things. First of all, today there is a solar eclipse. Please know that looking at the solar eclipse without protective glasses will do irreparable, is that how you say that? Irreparable, there we go, thank you. Uh, damage to your eyes. So please do not look at the eclipse without protective glasses. Thank you. Also, look what I got for a special ticket drawing for the rest of the month. Ooh, yeah, buddy. And I'm telling you right now, you can smell the sugar in this thing. I can I can hear teeth decaying as I even speak about this. So, uh, this is the special ticket drawing, purple ticket drawing, for the rest of April. Get your purple tickets into the office. We will draw April 30th. Have a great day. Hey everybody, Mr. Moyer, it's that time of year. Leadership camp this summer. It is uh, July 12-ish, somewhere in there. Uh, it's open for 6th grade and 7th grade. Uh, I've got some funds for 20 kids to go. So the quicker we can get in permission slips, that kind of thing, I will have those in the office so you can pick up. Um, and the more we have, if we have 20 or more, we'll have to do a random draw, that kind of thing. But let's get 20 kids. The leadership camp's awesome. I'll be there. I am one of the camp counselors. So uh, if you want to have a good time this summer, come on out. It's awesome. You learn to be a great leader in our school and in our community. So hopefully uh, come get those permission slips and we'll be all set. ready for the digital PSAT 8-9. Here's how it'll work. Before test day, sign into the Blue Book exam app and head to the practice and prepare section. You can explore the tools and features of the app and try a few sample questions in the test preview or take a full length practice test. Your school will tell you if you're going to test with your own device or a school managed device. Either way, make sure your device is fully charged. It'll need to stay on for roughly three hours. If you're bringing your own device, we recommend you bring a power cord or portable charger. You'll also need a pencil or pen. Scratch paper will be provided. You'll go through a quick check-in process and the test will be downloaded to your device. The digital PSAT 8.9 has two sections, reading and writing and math. It should take you just over two hours to complete, not including breaks. Each section of the test has two parts, called modules, and each module is timed separately. You can move back and forth between questions in a module and review your answers until time expires. There will be a break between sections. During the test, you'll have access to a set of tools. On all math questions, you'll find a reference sheet and a calculator. You can also bring an approved calculator. Use the annotation tool to highlight text or leave yourself a note. On multiple choice questions, 
If you think an answer option is wrong, you can cross it out. And you can mark for review any questions you want to come back to later. Zoom in and out using keyboard shortcuts on laptops or by pinching on tablets. If you have a problem during the test, click the help icon for troubleshooting tips. And you can always raise your hand to ask the proctor for help too. When the test is over, your answers will be submitted automatically. Wait until you see the congratulations screen to close your device. A few weeks after the test, you'll get your scores. You'll see your AP potential, and you can connect with lots of great college and career planning tools. For more information, visit psat.org slash digital. student spotlight shout out is for Vita Wright. I get to have Vita in two classes throughout the day and she is just a fantastic young lady. She is the embodiment of pretty much everything you would want in a student. She is smart, she is kind, she is very respectful to everyone. She works so hard at all things. Uh, I see that when we are in the classroom and outside of. She is just genuinely a supportive person to her friends, to her teachers, and she is just wonderful. So I just want to say thank you, Vita, for being you. And I see you, I appreciate you, and have a good day, everyone. Hello, everyone. This is Ms. Carvis. I have been given the opportunity to choose a student for Student Spotlight and I asked to be able to choose a seventh grader because I have wanted to nominate Michael Proctor for a long time. Michael Proctor starts my morning by coming into the gym and asking how my morning is going and tell me about something that's going on in his life and joking around with Mr. Franklin and it is a great way for us to start our school day. Michael is very empathetic and caring um, he's sincere and shows maturity of a student that is much older than what he is. Um, Michael checks in with me in the afternoon when, before he goes into Mr. Dodge's class and asks how my day is going. And I remember a day when it had been a pretty rough week and Michael looked at me and said, you look like you could use a hug. So I appreciate you, Michael, um, for your humor your sincerity, your kindness, and Mrs. Hessling told me that she wanted you to know that she can't wait to see you in her class this next year, and I feel the same. I'm looking forward to you as an eighth grader. Great work, Michael. Hi, Karen Middle School. Today I have a video affirmation for Isaiah Green. Isaiah, I want you to know that I appreciate your courage to participate in science class. Um, offering great ideas that you have to share. I appreciate also that you are kind and respectful to your peers and how you push through the tough moments and you persevere. So nice job, great work, Isaiah, keep it up.